Hi guys and welcome back to World of Tanks and a short video, I will be uploading uh, a proper one in a bit but this is a very short one and it's uh, basically the January news update or the first update of the new year. Now, it is a bit of an overview and this month we have the War of Nations coming which I'll explain in just a moment but it does look like it's going to be good fun actually. Uh, but for now we've got Comic Mode event which is January the 4th to the 8th. Um, I don't know if I'm overly taken by it so far. The garage looks quite good, and it's nice that they're in, you know, in comic mode in the tank. Uh, sorry, in the garage, but it's also in the battles as well, and I'm a bit unsure about it. So, you know, there's good news and bad news. Those of you that like it, the good news is it's here for four days. Those of you that don't like it, the bad news is that it's here for four days. Um, so, there you go. But, yeah, it's just something a bit different, and it's all basically cel-shaded. Uh, you can't really see it very well in that picture, but... Any of you have been on it already or are going on it in a bit will see for themselves. Now, World of Tanks rollout comic book issue number four is coming out and I didn't think we were getting a new tank, but we are. We are getting the Hidden Stug 3. Now, I have picked up the base bundle for this because they have not done a timed release, which is nice. They've released them all at the same time. Uh, it's a tier 5 premium matchmaking and I will be reviewing it today so that will be the video that uploads later on is the hidden stug four uh, stug stug three um a brief rundown is it's a stug 3g it's uh, got the bazooka plates on the side i can't remember the proper name for them somebody did tell me but i, I do apologize it's got the 7.5 centimeter l48 i think it is which is not the top gun from the stug which i think has 150 135 and that's pen and damage it's the 110 110 pen damage one same as on the stug 4 the premium one uh but it does have that good rate of fire like i say and it does have a bigger signal range and i think it's got better hull traverse as well but we'll cover that properly later on now Look, the Fury is coming back. Wargaming said it never would because of rights issues, obviously to do with Columbia, they own the rights to it, possibly even Sony Pictures had something to do, I can't quite remember. But anyway, the film company had the rights, they didn't think they'd be selling it again, but it's coming back on the 16th of January until the 5th of February, the Fury is coming back for sale. Now, it is essentially an easy 8, I think it... I don't know for sure, but I think it's basically a fully upgraded Easy 8, but it looks exactly like the tank from the movie Fury. So there's been a lot of people wanting to get that. And yeah, I quite like the Easy 8. I think I will be picking that one up. And look, Tiger 131, the famous Tiger from the Bovington Tank Museum. It may have even been in the movie, according to this. It says in the film, this menacing Tiger was able to wipe out Fury's platoon before being outflanked. So that might have been the Tiger that actually appeared in the movie that they went up against. But Tiger 131 is coming on the same day. So that's really nice. Uh, I mean, it, I'm assuming it's just going to be a, a fully upgraded Tiger uh, but with the 131. But again, it, it should be really nice. I just hope it's not ridiculously expensive because it really shouldn't be. But probably expect to pay something similar to what you paid for the hammer if you bought that one instead of earning it now january the 16th to february the 1st tank bowl tryouts and playoffs this is to do with the war of nations two teams usa or germany now you complete the tryouts op now there are going to be two there's a german one and an american one whichever tryouts op you complete that will be the team that you will join tiers three and above um so yeah and there's once completed there's no switching teams so do really think about whether you want to be usa or germany you earn a select amount of points for the tryouts and once it's completed that'll be the team that you're playing for you won't get into the tank bowl unless you complete one of the tryouts by february the first so if you want to take part you're going to have to do it Earn enough, <coughs> excuse me, earn enough points and you'll make the team, thereby unlocking the playoffs where you can reap in extra XP and silver per victory uh, in vehicles of your selected nation. Now, the main event is February the 2nd while the 5th. It'll be a battle of wits and heart. And it says here, for those of you on a small screen, give it to 110%, you'll see why later, over four quarters uh, for your team and you'll earn a, well, you learn an MVP medal, most valued player. Winners will get a special champion tank for free after the event. Now, I would assume 
But again, I could be wrong, but I would assume that the winning team will get, everybody will get the champion tank for free. And anybody who wasn't uh, taking part in the playoffs or possibly was on the losing team, there's a chance you might be able to buy it. I really don't know. Uh, they might bring it out later on, but it just says that they'll get a special champion tank free after the event. Maybe it'll be there for sale as well. I really don't know. But apparently it's not how you start the game, but how you finish. So a bit cryptic. We'll have to see what's that. what that's actually involving. And from today, January the 4th until February the 5th, we have six new emblems to show your support for the team. So you've got the, the two skulls with USA and Germany, two tanks, Sherman and Tiger, American football helmet, and... Well, that's an early American football helmet, what they call the Leatherhead one, isn't it, I think, if uh, my history says me right. I'm not entirely sure what that one is. It just looks like a German military helmet. Team USA, Team Germany, Team Deutschland. And also coming into the store this month, and in fact it's here today as well, is the Russian Premium IS-2. Now, a long time ago, not long after I started my channel, I think, I did a video of this, I think it's IS-2 Strong Dink. Uh, and I apologise for my horrible Russian accent. It was just a couple of games, and I, I briefly covered a few of the stats. Um, to get an idea of it, basically, it's like a cross between the Russian IS at Tier 7 and the Chinese IS-2 at Tier 7. It's It's got the sloped front from the Chinese IS-2, but it's got slightly thicker armour than the Chinese IS-2, but it's not as thick as the Russian is I believe the gun handling and everything else is the same as the Russian IS, so you can get a good idea of how it actually handles, and I will try and review that one properly tomorrow, and I am very surprised that I haven't done already, actually. Now, uh, just quickly before this video ends, um, I've seen a couple of new tanks today. Uh, the I don't know how to pronounce it, and again, I apologise. I think it's the Bogatyr, uh, and it's I think it's B-O-G-A-T-Y-R. Uh, I think it's Bogatir or Bogatire, Bogatir. Anyway, uh, and I saw one in a match, and it's a Tier 5 premium for the Russians, and I had no idea what it was, and I still couldn't figure it out from the little picture at the end, you know, when they get destroyed, and you can, or you can check people's profiles on the team list at the end of the battle, and it shows you a little picture of the tank. Couldn't figure it out. It did look like some sort of KV, but I wasn't entirely sure. Now, I did a bit of research, and what it actually is, uh, I think it was Wargaming and PlayStation Russia, if I remember rightly, uh, did joined up and did a deal, and I think it's only available in Russia, although again, I could be wrong, I just did a bit of quick research, and it was a World of Tanks themed PlayStation 4, and it came with... Oh, what did it come with? Do you know, I do apologise. Anyway, it, I think it came with two tanks, or it might have just come with one, but... It, Possibly just one. Oh, and it, that was it, an op. That was it, and I think you got something like double XP and double silver for your first 100 wins. But you got the Bogatir. Now, what the Bogatir is, and again, I apologise if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's what I'm going to call it from now on, so get used to it, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> but if uh, no, if somebody tells me, yeah, you are saying it wrong, it's this, I'll, you know, change it. Um, but yeah, what it is, it's a KV-222, which obviously just used to be called the KV-220, is now the KV-222. And that is the KV-222 Bogatir. Um And apparently it has special Bogatir camouflage. Not entirely sure what that is. Like I say, I am not a tank historian. Uh, I'm a gamer at heart. I do like my tanks, you know, and I'm picking a lot up, but I'm a gamer at heart. But yeah, it's it's a KV-222 with Bogatir camouflage on it. And that came with the, uh, the World of Tanks themed PlayStation 4. Like I say, I think it's only available in Russia. I don't know what region they are for games, but if they're the same region as sort of the rest of you know Europe and what have you, then there is a chance that you might be able to get one imported and it'd work. But that's something you'd have to look into. You know, I, I really don't know. Uh, but a quick tip for you: if you do come across one and you're not quite sure what it is, it is just like say KV222. The hull armor is ridiculously strong for tier five. I want to say it's the hull armor from something like the KV3 up at tier eight, but I could be wrong. Um, not not uh, tier 8, sorry, uh, tier 7. But again, I could be slightly wrong. But it's the turret, I think, from the normal KV-1. So if you do come up against one, the turret is where you want to be hitting it. You will have a much better chance of penetrating. So yeah, KV-222 and uh, the, the, the Bogatir go for the turret. That's the place to pen. Anyway, 
there you are like i say quick update for the uh, january sort of review um i will probably try and keep doing these short news updates as and when they they update on the website because I know not everybody goes on the website and checks and I don't mind doing this at all just having a look see what there is and giving you a bit of a summary but there you go uh, I'll be back later on like I say with a review of the Stug 3 Hidden and I will try and get an IS2 review done tomorrow but like I say if you do want a bit of an idea as to what it's like anybody who's been through the Chinese line through the Chinese IS2 it's pretty much the same a uh, bit better armour on the front and again anybody who's been through the Russians through the standard IS Again, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I think the IS-2 is slightly more manoeuvrable, though, than the, the standard IS, uh, although I, I can't quite remember. It's been a while since I've taken out, but I'm, I seem to remember it is. And, of course, you've got the sloped upper plate rather than the flatter driver's hatch. But there you go. I'll see you later on. So, uh, yeah, as always, take care out there, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.